Hello, this is Rita Huir.sysx and this is a demonstration of a nice home screen application uh, made by a bunch of talented Chinese developers. And this demo will look at uh, the official translated Ingr English version, which is unsigned and it's 3.02. So let's start by looking at the home screen that vHome or Viager Home uh, provides. First thing you should notice is that it keeps the main layout from the regular S60 home screen. So you still have your uh, network, uh, your connection, your operator, uh, your profile, Bluetooth if uh, available, uh, battery as well as two shortcuts here, the clock, uh, and then the shortcut applications and the text here. So the layout isn't changed and you should feel right at home using it. Uh, the second thing you should notice is that basically everything here is different. So the first thing is that I can set uh, two rows of application shortcuts instead of one and I can also have it display seven uh, uh, applications on each row instead of six. Here I have six but I could get it to seven. And I can choose any of these. Uh, second thing is uh, a news feed which goes through the internet and gets the latest article titles from whichever feeds I choose. And here for example I have tech meme and if I cycle I also have TechCrunch. You can see a nice fab icon um, appear right next to the article title. So I know where it's been um, published. And if I click on something, basically it opens it. Third item on the main home screen is a to-do notes. And you could also display the calendar, but for to-do notes, you notice that there's a two over two here. So I have two to-do notes. And if I cycle left or right, I can see my different to-do notes. So basically it doesn't display them one after the other like the regular S60 uh, does. It just displays them, uh, cycles through them. Then we have Google search, which I can click on and then for example, search for Symbian and then click OK and it goes on the internet and searches for Symbian. Then we have the weather, which has a nice uh, cloud and rain icon for the Paris weather as well as the temperatures. If I click on the weather, it displays a nice um, a weather uh, for Paris here. Um, the second part of the application is a my fave um, menu, which shows you your favorite contacts or the contacts you've been well contacting the most. Uh, so here everything is shortcut enabled. So for example, if I press on three, I'll go to my friend Rach. Uh, and basically if I click on options, I can uh, send a text, MMS, call, do whatever I want to do. So this is my favorite contact, but if I click left or right, I can go to my favorite applications, which shows me the applications that I open the most and the most frequently on my device. And here also everything is uh, shortcut enabled, so if I press on 2, it goes to gravity. Fantastic. There's also a smart dial function where, for example, if I click Gra whoop. Gra V. We have gravity. Uh, and I can open the application if I click on the middle. So whoop. It's open. I can for example search for a contact. Oh whoop. Contact. Which is Zane I'm a friend. And I can click on options. I can edit her. Uh, I can also call the number um, uh, send her an MMS, uh, update her, compose an MMS. One thing I'd like to show you as well is if I opened the music player. So let's go to the music player. Music, all songs. Uh, what the hell? Seven seconds away. Okay. We have the music playing. And then if I switch back to the home, we see that there is a new and very nice uh, row that appears and so you can basically click on right to go to the next song left to go to the previous song center to pose center back to resume a very very nice uh, the other function is the red key that cycles through the different open applications so here we have it cycling through vhome gravity as well as uh, the music player. So if I exit the music player and I click on red, it only will cycle between gravity and vhome. 
very convenient way of switching between your different applications. Um, mainly these are the functions. Then we have the start menu, which allows you to add a couple of shortcuts here, like restart or shutdown, which I don't have, but restart is very welcome. Uh, access the settings. And here basically is where all the magic happens. So you can select your operator. So for example, I, ha I can have it display Rita, which is my name. Okay, and then you can uh, enable a big digital clock, which works better on uh, devices with portrait uh, screen and not a landscape screen. Then we can go to shortcuts and go to shortcuts setting, and here we can change everything. So you can change whatever appears on the left and right selection keys. You can change uh, the settings for the start menu. Uh, you can uh, change whatever appears for the start menu. Uh, then you can choose if you want two rows or one row of application, six shortcuts or seven shortcuts per application, and then you can define each and every application shortcut on each and every row. Uh, now I click save. Uh, so these are the shortcuts. We can go also to the news feed, and here if I go to select feeds, uh, the letdown is that you can't add your own feeds, so you have to work with whatever they have. There's a couple of worldwide and very well-known feeds, and then there's also a couple of tech feeds like Engadget, Gizmodo, TechCrunch, or TechMe. There's no Symbian Guru there. Big light down. Anyway, for example, I'll add CNET here, and then I click Save. Um, I can also uh, edit the weather and then select what city. Um, I like it to display the weather for and here basically I type the name of the city it finds it and adds it this was the weather there's also I can enable the smart dialing or uh, or not function which is where I type an application's name and it finds it uh, there's also the keypad auto lock which can be set to on and off and then the connection where I can set uh, vHome to um, uh, its access point the update interval when it begins when it ends so I can have it disabled at night, for example, uh, which browser to use, which news transporter to use. Uh, and then I have the more settings, which allow me to set up whether uh, the home should be a single home screen or uh, coexist with the home screen. Uh, so, uh, and then I can have, um, have it auto start or um, uh, choose whether or not the end key selects the switches between the different applications. Uh, then there is also a nice setting which is new app alert. So whenever I install a new application, vHome will pop up a menu and ask me, uh, do you want to start this application? So I, if I installed something new, I don't have to go through the menu and look for it in order to start it for the first time. It's basically right there in front of me. Um, then we have the calendar. Uh, which is switched to on, to-do notes, web directory, search bar, and then I can also edit the font size and the selection key font size, font color, add separation lines or not. Basically, everything is fully uh, customizable. Whoop! It gave up on me. Um, but it's restarting right now. Okay, restart it by itself. If you can see, we have Rita here, and we also have CNET, which has been added to the newsfeed. Uh, there is also a function that comes with the EV Home, which is vApps. Uh, this is vApps, and basically, it's a directory of freeware applications that you can install. You can install on your device, and all you have to do, for example, is go to multimedia and say, "I want to install YouTube." and basically it's downloading it at this point and then it will um whoop, you can see it downloading here it will download and install so you have a very nice selection of freeware applications that you can install right through vhome with their v apps integration um, incredibly useful stuff in my opinion and i can still see um, the download going on. Basically, if you notice, it propels your home screen to a whole new level of customization and a whole new level of functionality with the feeds and the search and all of that. Uh, I think that the original Chinese version also supports 
showing you your Facebook and Twitter stuff on the home screen but this hasn't been integrated in the English version so I would love it if they uh, added that to uh, the home screen it would be very very welcome um, in any case kudos on this application and I hope that you enjoyed it